Hey man, you ain't in this boat alone by yourself, all right, bro? This dating market has gotten so bad. So, so, so bad. Not just in the big cities, but even in the small cities. My nipples showing. <laughs> oh, man. Probably should have left it open, huh? Just to troll you guys. Nah, I'm just playing. Just not, just not in the big cities, man. Even in the small town, small cities. Thanks to Instagram, right? This is why I say social media is a blessing and a curse. Blessing how? Because this is the first time we can actually see women's true color for who they really are. And curse, you already know what the curse is, right? Your average man literally, literally has no chance whatsoever. Guys, I'm a five foot ten guy, all right? By the way, so shout out to, uh, I can't remember who pointed this out, but somebody pointed this out on my channel. He said, Zeke, you're not six foot tall. Because I claim to be six foot tall before. Shout out to you, bro. You're right. I'm not six foot tall. I measured my height when I was 18. I'm 23 now. When I was 18, I had two different doctors measured because I was in high school football team and we had to do yearly physical. And they both measured it as six foot tall. I don't know what the hell happened to me or if they were just smoking some good ass ganja, right? If I, I, want, I want whatever the hell those doctors were smoking. If they misread my height by two inches, but I just measured myself the other day. I'm going to make a video if you guys want me to, but it's not that big of a deal. When I finally figured out, I'm 5'10", I'm not six foot tall. Hey, did that shake my confidence a single bit? Hell fucking no. Here's why. I'm 23. I'm an aerospace engineer. You guys already see how good my body looks. I'm in pilot. I'm a pilot in training. I'm learning how to fly a plane now. I got multiple real estate investment properties. I've banged women well into the triple digits. Uh, if I'm really attracted to that girl, I won't come for at least three to four hours. That's how long I can fuck. My charisma, you guys already see it. My personality, you guys already see it. I'm not a basic bitch. I have personality. I have game. I have a mouthpiece. I have charisma. All of the... All of it. And I'm still struggling out here, here and there, every now and then in this dating market. Granted, I'm going after girls who are 8s, 9s, and 10s. And I already know, unless I'm in the millionaire and the seven-figure earner. Oh, by the way, I'm one of the top earners in my state. I'm not in the seven-figure yet, but I'm still in the top, one of the top earners in my state. I'm in the six-figure uh, six figure range now. So I'm still having trouble. I'm still de dealing with their fuckery, and that's just not me. A-class celebrities also have female problems. Your favorite dating coach, AMS, he also has female problems. Shout out to AMS. Big brother right there. I learned so much from him. So freaking much from him. This guy has knowledge after knowledge after knowledge for days. All from his personal experience. We all know that. But I have to point this out about AMS, just so you guys don't feel down about your own damn self, because I know a lot of you guys are going to come in here and feel sorry for yourself and get, in, get insecure that, oh, AMS is having all these chicks, Zeke is having all these chicks. But you guys don't see the other side behind the screen. You know what? I'm going to make a video telling you guys how many times I've been rejected in my life. You guys see these girls I'm hanging out with. But do you have any idea how many times I've been rejected? Do you have any idea what kind of filtering I had to go through to, find, to even just get one girl to cooperate? Probably I had to go through 100 girls to, go just, to just get one girl to cooperate. I'm sure AMS had did, that, did, did the same, same exact thing. But the thing what I wanted to point out about AMS is that he is mainly attracted to black chicks. And I hate talking about race, but this is very important. And you guys all know the big elephant in the room, but let me just break it out for you. AMS is mostly attracted to black chicks. And I'm not saying what or who you should be attracted to. I'm not saying what AMS should be attracted to either. And I'm sure if AMS watches this video, he's going to agree with what I'm about to say. And we all know black women, doesn't matter even if she's a dime, is not as desired by men across the globe as much as a white woman who's a dime. Let's just keep it a buck. Let's just keep it a buck. You're going to unsubscribe for me? Go right fucking ahead. Black women know that. Asian women know that. White women know that. Everybody in this world knows that. That black women are one of the least desired women in this planet. While white women are one of the most desired women in this planet. I talked about this race issue so many times, you know. 
when I, I made a video talking about when white girls have BLM written on their bio. Go check it out. I talked about white girls that are much, much sharks. Go check it out. It's easy as a white girl when you're getting all this attention from all kinds of men to come out and say, oh, I feel sorry for black people and the BLM movement. Go ahead. Again, this is going into a political discussion and I hate that. But I have to address this. I have to address this. And that's why we all know that even if a white woman who's a six at best will have more options than a black chick who's an eight. Let's keep it a book. So I don't know AMS's life story. I don't know what he's go, what kind of shit test he goes through, what kind of bullshit he goes through with his women. But I know that it's, it's plenty. It's enough for his plate. But I promise you, he doesn't go through enough shit test as a white as a white woman who's a dime would put her man through. If AMS was dating eights, nines, and tens who were nothing but snow bunnies, he would go twice as much more shit test and headache and bullshit than he is going through now because he's dealing with black chicks. And you guys already know what kind of preference I have. I love my white girls who are eights, nines, and tens. Now I'm messing with only eights, nines, and tens. I used to mess with four, fives, and sixes. But now I'm missing, I'm missing with eights, nines, and tens, or at least the eights, nines, and tens that I can at least find or get my hands on around where I live, right? You guys already know eights, nines, and tens are, aren't usually out and about doing regular people shit. They're, too, they're in too goddamn high of a demand to go out and do this peasant shit that us regular people do, right? That's how they think of themselves. Let's keep it a buck. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. This is why my channel doesn't get enough views, enough uh, attention, enough attraction. Because I keep it too real for you guys. And you guys know that. Share this video. Do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video. Share with share with one other friend. And then tell them to do the exact same thing. You guys are, are my only hope to get my message across. I'm not doing it for the fame. I'm doing it to save more guys, to wake more men up. Just like you guys. So... That's why whenever you see a white girl that you, that, that's looking really nice and you're gonna, you want to go talk to her. And now let's come out from that race issue, all right? Now let's just focus on women in general. That's why women in general are so much harder to get nowadays than they used to be. This is kind of like a rant video. Sure, you can call it a rant video, whatever. But this is more of an awareness video. So that before next time you see an 8, 9 or, not, nine or a 10... And she's with the, with with one other girlfriend or with a bunch of with a uh, group of girls. Just think twice. This is another reason why I love picking up chicks from Instagram because her Instagram will tell you what kind of headspace she's in. If she's getting two hundred plus likes, she's not in the right headspace to give you any time. You meaning the average guy. So you have to level the hell up. That's the only option you have. That's the main point of this video. Or you can sit here and pout. Whatever it is that you want to do, man. A lot of you guys who just pout can get any. And that's why you're mad. Instead of putting in the work. Because I know putting in the work is hard work. You're going to unsubscribe from me just because I said that? Go right fucking ahead, man. You One person leaves, ten more will come. The truth needs to be spread. And people are fiending out here for this truth that I'm spitting, I'm spitting right now. So, but, but, but realize that even when you become the top of the top, right? Or not even top of the top. Let's say you go from bottom 70% to top 20%. Even then, man, I tell you to get your standards up. But even then, when you do get your standards up, you're going to deal with chicks bull crap. Dude, even fours, fives, and sixes will still give you bullcrap uh, bull and headache. Even when you level up. Just know that. Just because you level up don't mean your problems go away. And that's why I tell you, you should be doing this for yourself, not for women. Because you're going to get frustrated. Man, I did all this work and this bitch still ain't giving me the time of the day. That's when you're going to quit. I got rejected by what? Four girls today. <laughs> I laughed it all off. Do you know why? Because as soon as I walked out of the gym, went to the parking lot, and I saw this chick's car, what they're driving. Oh, my God, dude. You call that a life, girl? You're driving around in that piece of shit? 
and you got that much oomph, that much sass to give me? Oh, you're a peasant. Go away from me. Why? Just because you got a few likes on your Instagram? Sure, I drive a piece of shit. I drive a Toyota Corolla right now. But I also got multiple real estate properties. How many do you have, girl? You barely can't afford your rent every month. That's the difference between you and me. See, my money is working as I'm speaking to you right now. And your money is draining your wallet. There's a hole in your wallet that's going down there, down that, down, down that hole. You're really not winning, ladies, by all these attention you're getting from men right and left. But hey, that's another video topic. This is for my men right now I'm preaching to. So guys, yes, the dating market is hard. Yes, most likely you're attracted to white women who look nice as hell. This is just in our DNA, fellas. Even babies were given pictures of multiple colors, colored people. And babies were most attracted to white people. Babies across all races. That study has been done. So yeah, I know you like that white girl with that fat booty. But guess what? You ain't gonna get it. Because you're an average guy. Even when you level up, you still might not get it. Because she still thinks she's better than you. That's what, the, that's what Instagram has done, really. That's really Instagram. Not even dating apps that much, as much as Instagram. I'm serious. That's why I had to get my Instagram followers up. Because I knew that I saw this coming years ago, man. Now, how did I get my Instagram followers up? I'm going to talk about it in another video if you guys want me to. I did not buy a goddamn follower. Did not even spend a goddamn penny on buying anything on, Insta on Instagram. Just giving you a heads up. Because I saw this coming. I saw that, oh, Instagram is going to take off. This is the next na dating and mating strategy for women. Instagram. So that's why I had to get my followers up. Follow me on Instagram at Zeke Peak, man. <laughs> Get some more followers out of y'all's asses. <laughs> nah, man, I'm playing, I'm playing. But for real, that's it. That's really the end-all be-all, man. And also, another thing I want to point out to you. AMS, the type of chicks he's dealing with are chicks over the age of 25. Come on, let's keep it a buck. He even talks about it. Women after the age of 25 are easy fucking pickings if you have your shit together. But below 25, women are still hard as fuck to get even if you have your shit together, unless you're a millionaire driving around in a Ferrari or a Lamborghini and she just happens to see it. Unless you DM her and then she looks through her pictures and sees that you're a millionaire. That's the only time you are going to get her attention. There is no such thing as building something meaningful with a woman anymore. Fellas, come on. Wake the hell up, man. It's 2021. How many more times you got to get rejected to finally start seeing the true colors of women and what's really happening out here? Am I ranting because I got rejected by four women today? Fuck no. I barely remember these bitches' names. <laughs> I hit on three different chicks yesterday, four today. I'm going to hit on what? Two tomorrow. Five the next day, three the, three the next day. Every fucking day I go out of my house, I hit on at least one different chick. Because wherever I'm going out and about doing my things, I see women. And honestly, I swear to God, I forget the chick's names from the days before that I hit on. And that's exactly what's going to happen to you when you level up and you start realizing that this is nothing but a numbers game. But I don't want you to go out and start approaching 100, 200 women just to get pussy. Just to play the numbers game. I don't want you to do that. See, I play the numbers game living my life. Whenever I go out to the gym, to the grocery store, whenever I go to get gas to the, uh, what you call it, fucking gas station, wherever I go, whenever I go do my hobbies, I spot women there. I don't go out of my way to the mall or to a certain spot just to get women. That's the difference between you playing the numbers game and me playing the numbers game. I don't want you, that's why I don't want you to do that. Who the fuck that bum? Fuck off my house, bro. On my land. My property. Anyways. But, uh, yeah, man. You have to realize that is <laughs> that 
it's nothing but a numbers game and women do not love you for who you are it's what you can do for them what kind of sensation you can get them tingling that initial attention that you're gonna grab from her by your lifestyle by your Instagram followers by your money that's what's gonna get you in the door but after that your personality kicks in but your personality doesn't mean jack jack shit jack squat you being funny you being charismatic doesn't mean anything if you don't even get in the fucking door if you don't even get if she's not even attracted to you fours fives and sixes will get attracted to you but they will still start playing games with you and that's when your game comes in you being you being on point you holding masculine frame comes in But that won't even happen till you get her attention. There's a channel called, called Human. He talks about, oh, leave these women alone. And uh, why? Because, uh, oh, just get rich, bro. He, he, he has a problem with the advice I'm preaching to you guys. Just get rich, bro, just to be a target. Yes, you are going to be a target. Point blank, period. Even when, even in the 1960s, you were you were your target as a high, as a high value rich man. You don't think those rich guys had to worry about their riches? Maybe not as much as they do now, but they still have to worry about protecting their stuff. So you're always a target. You are a success object, guys. That's what women, not women, children even look at you as. That's what the world looks at you as. But that's a okay because you still have the final decision of your life. Where you want it to be at the end, when you're 50, 60, 70. Women don't have that say. Children don't have that say. Other animals don't have that say. Only you do as a man. You're already seeing what's happening to these women when they turn 50, 60, 70. They didn't have that say in their life to make that decision. Even if they did, they're too damn stupid to make that right call. But you aren't. So yeah, in, in this coming year coming up, more and more women will be single. More and more guys will be single. We'll probably get more and more incels come out. We'll probably get more and more fee cells come out, female incels come out. And we'll probably get more and more rich guys come out. The balance, it's not the balance, the difference is going to get larger and larger and larger from what, from what the dating scene was in the 1960s, 1940s versus what it is now. It's, it's not going to get better. And I want you to understand this. Because this is going to give you that peace of mind at night time. When you go to bed and you're about to sleep after getting rejected 30 damn times today. I've been rejected 30 times in a row, man. I'm serious. And I went to bed, woke up the next morning, forgot about all those hoes. Went out. Approach, approach the 31st girl, the next girl, the next day. Hey, got her in my bed within four hours. It's all just a numbers game. They're all the same. Meaning they all want the exact same thing from you. Some kind of things to be done for them. Materialistic thing. Feelings thing. If you can make them feel certain ways. Spiritual stimulation. Whatever it is. Whatever she's looking for at that time. She wants something from you. She doesn't like you for who you are. You have to understand that, man. And this is not a black pill advice by any means. And, and ladies, I want you to stay that way. I want you to like us for what we can provide for you and not for who we are. Because that keeps us on our toe, on our toes to be better for ourselves and for you too. Yeah, sure. That's why I don't change, ladies. Don't be a fake. Be real. So that bond, that emotional connection you were talking about, that women and couples apparently used to have back in the days, even that shit wasn't real, man. Maybe one in a thousand marriages in the 60s, in the 50s, was that real. Same as, same as it is now. But overwhelming majority-wise, women back then were the exact same as they are now. They wanted their man for what the man could do for them, not for, the, not for who the man really is. 
we just see that now more because we have social media and women are putting it out there. That's, that's the only freaking difference, fellas. Jesus Christ, I want to make this video seven minutes long. We're 20 goddamn minutes in. But every single sentence I've said so far is that goddamn important. So I really hope you guys watch this whole video and give me a like, man. And I don't know what to tell you, man. That's the best advice I got for you. Is live your life for yourself, but make money. Because that's going to make it make your life easier to live. As not, when you go to bed at night, that's going to give you that peace of mind. Lift weights. Stay fit. Your body is going to thank you. It's not that hard. It's very simple. It's a very simple blueprint to, to live this life, fellas, that I give you guys. Make more money. Not just me. All these other Repel content creators give you. Make more money. Stay fit. That's it. Take care of your skin. Take care of your hygiene. That's it. Take care of your body. Your body is your temple. And make more money. Because you're doing it for yourself at the end of the day. You want that peace of mind. You don't want to go to bed stressful. You know you have accepted it. Because you know that this, this world doesn't give a shit about you. If you were dead tonight, tomorrow the world's going to keep moving around and, uh, and around, the, and around the sun. Uh, time's going to keep moving on. We're all going to move on with our life. You have, the, you have to be the only person to care about your own damn, li own damn life. Yeah, I'm going to make a video talking about how many times I've been rejected. Just so you guys have a perspective, man. That's A-OK. -okay. That's not, Nothing's wrong with it because that builds character. That builds res resilience, patience. You got to have patience to deal with these hoes fuckery out here, man. But yeah, as I was saying, that, that channel human, I love watching his videos too. No shade on him. But some of, some of, some of his ideas I don't agree with. That's okay. He talks about leaving them alone forever, but... We are men. We need to fuck. We're going to be fucking. We want to fuck. Let's keep it a buck. Money and pussy drives us more than anything else as men. So just leave him alone is not a viable solution. Do whatever the hell you want to do in your life as long as you're protected, as long as you're safe. That's it. Don't worry about bonding any kind of emotional, anything with them. Let them bond that with you. Don't bond that with them. Mark my words. Let them bond that with you, meaning be unavailable to them. Then that puts you in their headspace. Now she's thinking about you 24 goddamn 7. And now she's going to do anything and everything you tell her to do. Don't catch feelings for her, though. Make her catch feelings for you. It's not a double standard because you had to be where you are today through a lot of freaking hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. A lot of crawling under the barbed wire, hurtling hurdles that life threw at you. While she, all she had to do is wake up, pose a booty, booty pic for Instagram, post it, and hey, her DMs and legs are wide open. Like what? Like Moses when he, was it Moses that spread the sea? Her cheeks are wide open like how Moses spread the sea. That's all she had to do. That's why it's not a double standard. You fucking deserve the goddamn world if you work for it and you try to earn it. She don't deserve a goddamn penny. Follow me on Instagram at Zeke Peak. I'm out of this bitch.